In this question from the chapter arithmetic progression, we have first term as A, the common difference D as eight, and uh, the sum of first n terms is given as 90. We have to get the value of n and a n. So first I'll apply the formula of the sum of first n terms, which is n over two bracket two a plus n minus one d. Now I'm going to replace the value of S n with given here. That is, uh, we know S n is 90 here. So I'll write 90 is equal to n we have to get. So it's n by two, then we have a as two. So two times a is four plus n minus one, d being given as eight. So this is eight. Now if I transpose two to the other side, it gets multiplied with 90 and we should get 180 over here is equal to n and uh, this if you simplify further by using distributive property over here it is 8n minus 8. Now with further simplification this is uh, 180 is equal to n and this is 8n and 4 minus 8 right it is uh, 4 minus 8 this minus 4. This is 180 is equal to, if I use distributive property again, it becomes 8n square minus 4n. Now writing in the standard form, it is 8n square minus 4n, right? On transposing everything to the left, minus 180 equal to zero. Further, we can see that uh, we can reduce bef this before factorizing. So I'm taking uh, four as common from here, and we'll get uh, this is uh, two times n square, minus n and this will give you minus 45 is equal to zero. Now we have to factorize by the product of two n 45 that is we have to four, 45 into two is 90. I can split 90 as 10 into nine because we need minus one. So this is two n square minus 10 n plus nine n minus 45 is equal to zero. Now common from the first two term is 2n, so it's n minus 5 and taking 9 as common from the last two term, you'll get n minus 5 is equal to 0. So finally it is n minus 5 and 2n plus 9 is equal to 0. Equating this with 0 or say starting with n minus 5, if I equate n minus 5 with 0, you'll get n as 5. Now equating the other, that is uh, uh, this one, that is 2n plus nine is equal to zero. We are getting n s minus nine over two. As you know that n cannot be, n has to be a natural number. So we got n. Now in the later part, they have also asked to find a n, that is nth term. And uh, the nth term cal can be calculated as a n is equal to a plus n minus one d. So we have A, that is the first term given as two plus N we calculated as five. So it's five minus one, which is four times D and D is eight. So this is two plus 32, that is equal to 34. So we got A and S 34.